Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. Belgian prosecutor Frederick van Leo says the third Brussels suspect, Najim Lachraoui, is still at large. He's been linked to last year's attacks in Paris. The prosecutor has also named two brothers, Ibrahim and Khalid Bakraoui, as perpetrators of Tuesday's terror attacks. Daesh earlier claimed responsibility for the bombings at Brussels airport and a metro station. Officials say the terror attacks killed 31 people and wounded 261 others. Belgium has put Brussels on lockdown and raised the country's terror alert to the highest level. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton have won their party's primaries in Arizona, bringing them closer to the presidential nomination. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders won in Utah and Idaho caucuses, and Texas Senator Ted Cruz took Utah. Clinton and Trump now have more than half the delegates they need to be nominated at the national conventions in July. Meanwhile, Democrats have criticized Trump and Cruz for making anti-Muslim comments. The Colombian government and FARC rebels are trying to reach a peace deal by a self-imposed deadline on Wednesday. Colombia's conflict began in 1964 and has killed 200,000 people. The sides have been in peace talks since 2012. They've already reached deals on FARC's participation in politics and the illegal drug trade. But they've yet to agree on disarmament. Both sides say it's unlikely they'll meet their deadline. According to a study published in the Journal of Ecology published by the British Ecological Society, the ash tree is headed for extinction in Europe. The review, led by Dr Peter Thomas, says, Between the fungal disease ash dieback and a bright green beetle called the emerald ash borer, it is likely that almost all ash trees in Europe will be wiped out, just as the elm was largely eliminated by Dutch elm disease. The disappearance of the ash tree is expected to affect more than 100 species. Thanks for watching TRTWorld.com, Istanbul.